Hello everyone, my name is Eric Jones. Welcome to the course entitled Landscape Pesticide Calculations. This is a course um, that I built for you guys to have a review on some of the typical math that we would see or encounter when doing lawn care um, type applications, whether we're fertilizing uh, a lawn, whether we're spraying a chemical to a turf grass. Uh, it's just a good review uh, on pesticide calculations. And so what we're going to do in this course, you're going to see the questions on a slide. Uh, I'll talk about the question, um, kind of just give you some uh, feedback on it or, or tell you how we need to, uh, to do this problem. And then you'll actually see me uh, working the problems out uh, on a worksheet. And so we'll talk about question one, then do the math for question one, then look at question two and do the math for question two and so on. Uh, and then at the end of the um, lecture, there will be questions on uh, the math calculations that we did and some more sample problems for us to calculate. So let's get started with it. We'll go over our objectives first. And our objectives are one, Landscape contractors will work together on common pesticide calculations. And so uh, you'll actually see me work out the problems. We'll, we'll go to question number one, and I'll read it, we'll talk a little bit about it, and then you'll actually see me work the problems out. Uh, objective two, landscape contractors will calculate basic pesticide application math problems. You will do some math on your own at the end of the lecture. And then objective three, landscape contractors will present calculations to each other and the instructor. Now guys, this uh, only partakes uh, in the face-to-face -face classes. If you are taking this course online, which you are if you're listening to this lecture, you will just work some problems out uh, at the end um, of the uh, of the lecture. Four, landscape contractors will review calculations with instructor's calculations. So I'm going over question one. You'll see me work out question one. You're actually reviewing uh, my answers. And then five, landscape contractor uh, shall be able to include pesticide services uh, in a landscape management plan. Uh, and guys, that's, that's what I like teaching. Um, my students and I want to give this information to you. When we get a call from a client uh, that wants management services or maintenance services, we're, we're probably used to calling it maintenance. I prefer to call it management. Uh, when we perform landscape management services, which includes everything from turf grass, mowing, fertilization, pesticide applications, to pruning the shrubs, to mowing, to pine needling or applying mulch, um, limbing up trees, just just the, the complete landscape management services package. What we like to do is do a landscape management plan where we calculate all the square footage of the, of the yard, including shrub beds, turf. I come up with a little package. Uh, we do this either through um, the GIS website or I go out myself and measure the property. Uh, when somebody does call, the first thing I do uh, ask them is if they have a survey of the property. If not, I go to GIS and I'm going to see aerial views or, or I'm going to go to Google Earth. You can get a lot of information uh, on the types of services that uh, someone will need just by looking at the overhead from Google Earth. And we come up with a landscape management plan. And it's kind of like a pick and choose you know not every customer is going to want every service that you offer and that's a-okay if they just need mowing we'll be glad to provide just mowing but the idea is we want to let them know everything that we can do we include that in a landscape management plan estimate it kind of gives them a calendar of the services that need to be performed and um, you know we've got their square footage in there we're going to tell them which pesticide we're, we're putting out what type of fertilize, when we're going to do it, and we include that in the landscape management plan. So hopefully, guys, this is just a review for you. Hopefully you enjoy the course, and uh, let's go ahead and get started with question number one. And question number one, a product label prescribes two pounds per acre. 
So you have 43,000 square feet that you're going to apply two pounds of the product. How much is needed for a 4,800 square foot lawn? Remember that one acre equals 43,560 square feet. Guys, that should be something that needs to be burned into your memory that an acre is 43,560. Time and time again, I've heard two-year associate degree students ask me how many square feet in an acre. I've had seasoned professionals ask me how many square feet in an acre. It just needs to be memorized, guys. That is a constant, and it's what we base our lawn care estimates off of is square feet. I like dividing everything into 1,000 square foot blocks. And so look, we have a 4,800 square foot lawn. My favorite size lawn to work on. I love the postage stamp lots. We're in, we're out. We're charging a, a, a nice premium price for it. Uh, not so much as, as getting the larger ones, but guys, we could do 10 to 12 of these per hour. And so that's what we're looking at. Remember, it's all about dollar volume per hour when mowing. It's not about how much you cut a yard for. It's, it depends on how much you're making per hour. Um, but guys, this is our question. And um, let's go ahead and work this problem out. Remember that I like working in 1,000 square foot blocks. So I'm, a, I'm usually going to take that 4,800 and say that it's 48 thousand square foot blocks but let's go ahead and do this math and uh, let's move over to the to the table a product label prescribes two pounds per acre how much is needed for a 4800 square foot lawn remember that one acre equals 43,560 square feet that is your number of square feet in one acre so guys the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to take my 4800 i'm going to divide it by the 43,560, which is going to give me 0 0.1 acres or a tenth of an acre and guys there's going to be multiple ways that you can work these problems i'm showing you how i would work these pesticide calculations and so we figured out how many acres that we have. We have a tenth of an acre. Uh, so how much is needed for a 4,800 square foot lawn? Well, I'm going to take this 0 0.1 acre and I'm going to multiply it times 2 pounds per acre, which is going to give me 0 0.2 pounds of product. Well, there I'm going to take that and multiply times 16 ounces because there are 16 ounces in a pound, which is going to give me 3.2 ounces of product. Or the number of ounces that we're going to use for this problem. All right, question number two. A product label says to use three ounces per thousand square feet. How much product will you need for a 4,800 square foot area? Again, the same yard that we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. I love the fact that we can break this into thousand square foot blocks. We're going to actually put three ounces per thousand square feet. A product label says to use three ounces per thousand square feet. How much product will you need for a 4,800 square foot area? Guys, I can't tell you how much I love these postage stamp lots. Uh, anything less than 5,000 square feet, we're in and we're out and we're done. Uh, but we're going to have to spread some uh, pesticides, herbicides, anything on these yards as well as mow them. So the product label says 3 ounces per thousand square feet. How much for the 4,800 square feet lot? Guys, like I say it enough. I take my square footage and I divide it by the 1,000. I like breaking my yards into 1,000 square foot blocks. Well, this is going to give us 4.8, 4.8 units or 4.8 blocks of 1,000 square foot. I'm going to say units of 1,000 square feet. I like breaking it down. 
uh, into that. And so I'm going to have to then multiply because we're doing three ounces per thousand. And we'll say we got the 4.8 times the three ounces gives me 14.4 ounces of product to do that yard. Well, now you know how much it is going to cost you to do it. Well, once you know the cost of the product, you know how much you're going to use, but you can figure out your total product cost per yard, per year, per the entire company, and actually see where how much total pesticide, how much total fertilizer that you're going to use for the entire year and take advantage of some of the discounts that um, our green industry um, companies that we buy our product from, you know, take advantage of the discounts by pre pre-ordering it and getting it up front. Question number three, you need to spread a crabgrass herbicide. So we're, going, we're putting down some pre-em guys. It's that time of year over a 2,400 square foot area. And you purchased a 25 pound bag of the herbicide. The label states that the contents of the bag will cover 5,000 square feet. How much of the bag will be needed? So how many pounds uh, do you need to use of the bag? And let's do that math. You need to spread a crabgrass herbicide over a 2,400 square feet area. And you purchase a 20 pound bag of herbicide. The label states that the contents of the bag will cover 5,000 square feet. How much of the bag will be needed? Good, good example of this time of year of the um, pre-emergent fertilizer that we're putting out. Now, yes, we're going to buy in 50 pound bags, but this is just a standard math, uh, math question that... Um, I wanted to present with you guys. So we have a 2,400 square foot lawn. And the contents of the bag will cover 5,000 per bag. So that is going to actually be 0 0.48 of the bag. And then if you want to multiply that times your 25 pound bag to see how much you're actually going to use, you're only going to use 12 pounds of product to do that yard. So just a little under half uh, to put out your pre-emergent for the 2,400 square foot um, uh, property that we just looked at. Question number four, you need to apply a grub control insecticide over 4,800 square feet. The label instructions say to apply one gallon of water and four teaspoons of insecticide for each 200 square feet. How much water and how much insecticide is needed? So this is basically a two part question. We're going to figure out how much water we need to do the 4,800 square feet. And then we're going to figure out how much insecticide we're going to need. And let's take the problem all the way uh, let's express our insecticide in the number of cups. Well, let's do the math. You need to apply a grub control insecticide over 4,800 square feet. The label instructions say to apply one gallon of water and four teaspoons of insecticide for each 200 square feet. How much water and how much insecticide is needed? Now, this math problem is going to take two steps. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to figure out how much water we need. We've got 4,800 square feet. Well, we're going to divide that by 200 square feet. And that's going to give us 24 gallons. So we need 24 gallons uh, of water to do this job. With our insecticide, We're going to take our 24 gallons and multiply it times the four teaspoons. Gives us 96 teaspoons per 24 gallons. Well, let's take it a step further. If we know that 48 teaspoons equals one cup, therefore we need two cups to do 
the, pro the product. So a two-step process. And I went ahead and stretched it out to the, uh, the two cups. It's easier to measure for us in cups versus the teaspoons. Question number five. You want to make three gallons of a 6% solution of a broadleaf herbicide. How many ounces of herbicide are needed? Round to the nearest ounce. And so guys, what we're going to figure out is how many ounces um, are we going to put in the spray mixture um, for three gallons? Let's do the math. You want to make three gallons of a 6% solution of broadleaf herbicide. How many ounces of herbicide are needed? Round to the nearest ounce. Well, we know that 6% is 6 over 100, gives us 0 0.06. There are 128 ounces in a gallon, therefore we need 7.68 ounces per gallon. And we're actually going to make three gallons, so we need to multiply 7.68 times three. And let me grab my calculator. Seven point six eight times three. Twenty-three point oh four. So we will just round it down to twenty-three. So six percent point zero six times one hundred twenty-eight ounces in a gallon equals seven point six eight ounces per gallon and we're doing three gallons so we're going to get roughly 23 um, ounces of herbicide for uh, this property. Question number six. Determine the amount of granular insecticide needed to treat four acres assuming a label rate of four pounds per thousand square feet. Round to the nearest pound. Let's do the math. Determine the amount of granular insecticide needed to treat four acres, assuming a label rate of four pounds per thousand square feet, round to the nearest pound. All right, so we've got four acres, so I'm going to say four times 43,560 gives me 174,240 total square feet for the property. Basically, we're doing four pounds per thousand so I'm just going to multiply that four times or over the 1,000 so you multiply 174 to 40 times 4 divided by 1,000 gives us 696.96 pounds or 697 for your answer Question number seven. How much spray solution will be needed to treat a 9,000 square foot lawn if your sprayer is calibrated to deliver six gallons per thousand square feet? Round to the nearest gallon and let's do the math. How much spray solution will be needed to treat a 9,000 square foot lawn if your sprayer is calibrated to deliver six gallons per thousand square feet? Round to the nearest gallon. Okay, so we have a 9,000 square foot lawn. Write down what we have, and we know that our, um, um, our sprayer is going to deliver um, six gallons per thousand square foot or thousand square foot blocks. So we got 9,000 square feet divided by the thousand gives us nine of those blocks times the six gallons that it's going to deliver gives us 54 gallons um, to treat this 9,000 square foot lawn. Question number eight. A 4% solution of pesticide will contain how many fluid ounces of pesticide per gallon of mixture? Show your math. Well, let's do the math. But first, guys, just like the last problem, how many ounces are in a gallon? That needs to be a standard or standard measurement that you should know right off the top of your head. If not, burn it into your brain. There's 128 ounces in a gallon. 
A 4% solution of pesticide will contain how many fluid ounces of pesticide per gallon of mixture? Real simple problem, but one that we need to know. So we have a 4%, guys, which is 4 divided by 100 is 0 0.04. We know there's 128 ounces in a gallon. Gives us 5.2, well, 5.12 ounces of pesticide per gallon of mixture. Question number nine. There are two parts. I am breaking them down into part A and part B. And the question first states, you are spraying a pesticide to a lawn. The total lot size is a third of an acre with a 25 by 43 house and a 15 feet by 40 feet long driveway. Part A asks, how many square feet will you need to spray? Show your math. And so what we're doing with this problem, guys, is that we've got to figure out um, exactly what the total square foot of the lot is. So it's a third of an acre. How many square feet is in an acre? Well, you should all know that it is 43,560, and we're going to have to multiply that by a third to give us our total square foot uh, lot. Then we're going to have to multiply the 25 by 43 and the 15 by 40, add those two together, and subtract it from the total of the uh, square, foot, square footage of the lot. And so that will give us how many square feet that we will need to apply the pesticide to. So let's, let's look at this problem a little bit in depth. This could be something uh, really, really beneficial to us if the client calls and they don't have a survey or whatever. And instead of driving 30 minutes to do that estimate, you could pull it up on Forsyth County Geodata or your county's Geodata website or Google Earth and get a pretty good uh, idea because all of these tools have the measuring tool. And I know there's some other software packages uh, from green industry companies that will actually help you uh, measure and do takeoffs uh, from aerial views uh, uh, as well out there. So um, this could be, you know, something that happens every single day. You sit there, you figure out how much square feet that you'll need to spray, and that is part of question number nine. A. Now let's look at 9B. The label says to apply the pesticide at the rate of five fluid ounces per thousand square feet. Again, I love the fact that it breaks it down into thousand square foot blocks. How many ounces of the formulation will you need for this area? Please show your math and I'm going to show you how to do it on the worksheet. You are spraying a pesticide to a lawn. The total lot size is a third of an acre with a 25 by 43 foot house and a 15 foot wide and 40 foot long driveway. We've got two problems to this number nine. A, how many square feet will you need to spray? Well, the first thing we need to do, we need to multiply one third times 43,560 because that is a third of the acre that is going to give us 14,520 square feet. Next thing we need to do, we need to figure out our house, which is 25 by 43, which is 1,075 square feet, the footprint of the house. And then we have the 15 by 40 driveway is 600 square feet. And so we're going to minus all of that and that is going to give us 12,845 square feet of area that we are going to treat with our herbicide or pesticide. So let's move over to B. The label says to apply the pesticide at the rate of five fluid ounces per thousand square feet. How many ounces of the formulation will you need for this area? So we've got our 12,845. I'm gonna divide by a thousand to get the yard cut up into thousand square foot blocks. 
that gives me 12.845 and then I'm going to multiply it times the 5 ounces per gallon we need 64.25 ounces of product to take care of this property Question number 10. You are working at a 35-acre horse farm with 30 acres of fenced-in pasture. You need to apply 5 pounds of active ingredient of herbicide per acre to the pasture land. The herbicide is a 60% wettable powder. How many pounds of formulation must you apply per acre? Show your math. Now, guys, read this question again. Think about it. Am I giving you more information than you need? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you need all the information or, but let's go ahead and work out the problem. You are working at a 35 acre horse farm with 30 acres of fenced in pasture. You need to apply five pounds of active ingredient of herbicide per acre to the pasture land. The herbicide is a 60% wettable powder. How many pounds of formulation must you apply per acre? Well, we know 60 percent is 60 over 100 and then what we've got to do is that we're doing five pounds active ingredient over x and so 60 x equals 500 x equals 8.33 pounds of formulation per acre guys I gave you a little more information than needed for this problem. We didn't need to know that it was a 35 acre horse farm. We didn't even really need to know that it was 30 acres. All we're worried about right now is that we know that we're putting out five pounds active ingredient of herbicide per acre. Well, we know that 60% wettable powder is 60 over 100 equals five pounds per active, five pounds active ingredient over X solve it, multiply it, and we get 8.33. It's a little catchy problem, a lot more information than needed to uh, perform the math on this. Question number 11. Your boom sprayer holds 20 gallons of herbicide. It has been calibrated to apply half a gallon per thousand square feet. Will you be able to spray an acre and a half site without refilling? show your math well watch me do these pesticide calculations this is a yes or no answer question your boom sprayer holds 20 gallons of herbicide it has been calibrated to apply half a gallon per thousand square feet will you be able to spray one and a half acre site without refilling refilling show your math so basically it's a yes or no question but we're going to do the math to see it so we have 20 gallons. We know that we've got half a gallon per thousand square feet. We know one acre equals 43,560 square feet. So 43,560 divided by a thousand gives me the 43.56 thousand square foot blocks in this property. And then 43,560 divided by 2 gives me 2178 square feet per thousand blocks gives me the 21.78. So guess what we've done? We figured up our square footage. We have an acre and a half. So here's your one acre, here's your half, and so we have 2178 blocks of thousand square feet, and we have 43.56 thousand blocks. And so what we want to do is add these two together. So we're going to say 43.56, add them together, gives us 65.34. And we're putting out uh, half a gallon per thousand. So we're going to multiply this times 0 0.5. Gives us 32.72 gallons. And so we have a 20-gallon tank. So our answer is no because we need 32 gallons 
um, 0.72 gallons uh, of mixture. So we would have to fill up. Um, not completely on the second go round, but we're going to have to put a little more than half um, uh, on it. So, um, yeah, we'd only need 12 gallons the next time, so a little more than half. Question number 12. You are applying a fungicide to a circular patch of turf with a radius of 75 feet for a public garden. The application rate on the fungicide label is four ounces per thousand square feet. How many ounces of fungicide will be needed to treat this turf? Show your math. Well, we need to know what the area is of a circle. And that, my friends, is pi r squared, where pi is a constant of 3.14. Let's do the math. Number 12, you are applying a fungicide to a circular patch of turf with a radius of 75 feet for a public garden. The application rate on the fungicide label is four ounces per thousand square feet. How many ounces of fungicide will be needed to treat this turf? Well, we know we're putting out four ounces per thousand. We know that the area of a circle is pi r squared. Pi is 3.14. It's a constant. It's just the way it is. And we're going to have a radius of 75 from right here, and we're squaring it, which gives us 3.14 times 5,625 square feet. Multiply those two together, we get 17,662.5 square feet. Divide it by 1,000 to give us our number of blocks, and that gives us 17.66, and we're going to put 4 ounces per thousand square feet gives us 70.64 ounces of fungicide to treat the turf. Good problem there. And ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the lecture portion of this course. Please answer the quiz questions online so that you can download your North Carolina Landscape Contractors Licensing Board proof of attendance. There will be some math problems um, very similar to the ones that we just looked at for your quiz, and there's going to be specific questions uh, about the 12 problems that we just had. Guys, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.